I'm Monica Haller and I'm building the War Veteran Book Workshop in Out of the Garage at the upcoming 01 SJ Biennial. The War Veterans Book Workshop is a workshop to make softbound print-on-demand books with uh, people who have been experiencing the wars that the United States is waging. Most often the participants are veterans, um, but they can be family members and other people have experienced the wars, really. I've called them objects of deployment and objects for deployment because I want people to think expansively about how a book can be used and what it can be used for way beyond what I imagine a book can be used for even. The projects and the books have many different audiences. So the first audience is the veteran um, or the participant. He or she is both the producer and also really the first audience. And then their families and friends. It's really an invitation for a conversation among them or for however this particular maker and participant and veteran wants to use his or her own book. I, I very rarely talk about some particulars with my family. And so having something that I can give to them that talks about the emotions but yet I don't have to sit there and face them directly in the sense that it, sometimes it would be too hard for me to talk about some of the things that I write about in my journal if I was to read that out loud to them, some of those things. The book also is uh, for the rest of us, those of us maybe who haven't experienced the war firsthand, um, again, as an invitation for a conversation, um, but also hopefully to think thoughtfully about what these archives really uncover at a deeper level too. It's incredibly important when I see readers start to look at the books and read them and ask questions that they maybe wouldn't have asked before to me or even better to the person who made it. That's great. My background's in peace and conflict studies and really in that I was spent time thinking about the philosophies of violence and nonviolence. And, and more practically, I was working with individuals and groups of people who are trying to make transitions from violent situations to less violent situations, uh, always including myself, too. In a larger setting, that meant I spent time with South Africans and the Truth and Reconciliation Conciliation Commission, how they were trying to make the transition from bloody conflicts to less bloody conflict. And with individuals, I was working with, for example, survivors of domestic violence. So that's where I came from, in a way. And it's why I came to, into making art. Um, it, and maybe it was a practical solution. It was a place where I could still work with the individuals who I was interested in and who I collaborated with but we could also think critically about the particular situations we found ourselves in and um, then present that to the world. The software has a design, a book design embedded in it. So first of all, there are fonts that we chose, graphics that we chose, particular page margins, things like that, that we chose. Also, there are a couple different page types I designed that to account for well the different voices I was hearing that people were using. I think it's fair to say that people generally have a lot of material, a lot of photographs, a lot of writing, a lot of thoughts, a lot of memories, just a lot. And so really both practically and conceptually the software is meant to be a stable site for unstable materials sometimes like unstable digital photos or our digital images, um, memories that are often elusive. But it's also meant to provide some structure for this kind of massive amount of information. Of course, we have to make choices like always what to include and what not to include. My intent for the year is to make at least 50 books with people, um, and that will become part of our library of books. And then I'll exhibit the library of books in a museum because I believe that's the kind of attention that these archives deserve. And then a year from now I, I plan to give the software and the workshop away um, for other institutions and individuals to continue on and continue making books. 
people attending the biennial will be able to experience the books in their very kind of first hot off the press state really um, we're making the books in the out of the garage two-week time period and the participants will make them there and then during the biennial exhibition we will have printed basically two days before um, their books so they'll be able to experience in the workshop space we'll turn it into basically a reading room also though we'll keep remnants up in the workshop of our process so that's important to me too people can play with the software and also see some of them um, the, the materials that people used before I went to the book. The 2010-01 SJ Biennial runs September 16th through 19th in venues throughout downtown San Jose and in satellite locations in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. For more on the 01 SJ Biennial, visit 01sj.org. The 01 SJ Biennial is produced by 01 the Art and Technology Network.